So here are some potential paywall models for free print newspapers. You got your hard paywall, which restricts all content to paid customers only. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just show you really quick on Leon County today how this would behave. If you wanted to do something like this on your website, really the only free news is gonna be what's in the teasers on the homepage or within the article. So on this site, if I click on the article, I get about a paragraph worth of free content, but then I've got to log in to read the rest of the story. Uh, this is not something that I've seen on a lot of uh, papers that ha are free in print. You know, it, it's the most aggressive of the paywalls. You know, it's the most restrictive, but you know, it is an option. The other option that I think most people are going to be interested in on the call today is much less uh, restrictive is the soft paywall. And this comes in a wide variety of you know, <laughs> examples. So, but they all share the common feature of being a mix of paid and free content. Okay, so on the journaltrib.com, they have specific categories set for free. And I think this model makes a lot of sense. Um, so actually, they, they have a different example there too, but I wanted to show you these right here. So the columns and commentary in the area deaths there is a setting on the back end where you can set a category for free, and then the tag is going to appear at the category level. So it applies to every article in that section, and your readers, you know, will will get used to that very quickly when they see it. So you know, you could still give away your obits. Um, you know, you can whatever you think needs to still be in front of the paywall. It's just a checkbox when you're using WordPress. Um, I don't know what CMS you're all on, but you know, I think most CMSs have this option. So uh, that's how that would behave, but of course, all the other articles are still gonna have just that one paragraph and then the, the cutoff, okay? Select articles marked free. I like this model as well. It just takes a little bit more effort on the side of the publisher. Um, at Harbor Light News, what they do is give away specific articles for free on the website. So it's not like every week you can expect all this category to be free. It's it's a little bit more random, um, but I think for the publisher, it's not random, but it appears more random. So in this case, this COVID article is free access, but all the other, other articles are paid. And of course, you know, in most of these um, paid uh, or soft paywalls, they're going to protect the whole print edition, right? Because you don't want to get, you know, protect the, the stories in HTML and then give them away for free on in PDF form. So just it's better easier to just lock down the whole print edition and then you know uh, you can select which HTML articles to give away. Okay, it's a really great option for a free paper. This one is probably my favorite option actually for uh, you all on the call with, with a pr free print newspaper um, where you allow the, the restriction on the, the content to be determined by time from the, the current edition. So as an article gets older, for example, it, it becomes free. So the current news is protected, but the archives are free. You could also do the inverse, where the current news is free and the archives are protected. Now, I that specific version of this model, I like the most for free papers because it's like, you're kind of saying that, well, the current news, no matter what form you get it in, whether it's you know delivered to your door or it's on the website, is uh, you know free access. But if you want to access you know the archives and you don't want to keep a stack of papers in your garage, then you've got to pay for that option. You know, so that's where the value comes from because no one is keeping these papers around. So you know, just to charge for access to the archives, I think is a great stepping stone. You know, it could just be, that's how you step into your paywall. You first launch it on your archives and then you launch it on your current news. Um, but you know, I, just to demonstrate this really quick on the current arc articles, uh, we've got the paywall. And I really like what Port Aransas does here. They make it really clear how to subscribe or purchase a single issue. They got these nice large buttons and then you can also log in. But this is for a paywalled article. But if I go back in time to the story archives and look at you know, an edition from over a year ago, then all these articles uh, should be free access. So yes, they are totally open. But if this was the current edition, this would be protected. OK. Any questions on that, feel free. Oh, here we go. 
Why not give the PDF free to give more impressions to print ads? Okay. Good question. Um, that's Adam, not Alex. Um, you know, I, I guess th there's, there's some, it, to me, it, it just all comes down to the economics of the supply and demand. If you're providing this unlimited supply, then the demand is going to go away. And, you know, to, to give that additional value to print advertisers, there's better ways to do it, I think is the real answer. What we do at our hometown is we extract all those print ads and we run them on the right column of every page of the website. So that's how we give that value. Uh, but, yeah, I, I wouldn't give up, you know, that access just to give a little bit more value to the, uh, the print advertisers. There's, there's other ways you can do it. I'm sure on your current system. Um, then you could, you know, run these on some type of an ad platform. Okay. So we count the PDF views as circulation. Okay. So this is something. So in terms of counting circulation numbers, um, I don't know, maybe Vera, I don't know if you can chime in here at all because you come from uh, the print business. You know, I'm not really that experienced in the whole process of reporting circulation numbers. And I mean, obviously it's better to have higher circulation numbers to whatever agency you're reporting to. Um, but I, I don't know, I, I guess I just gotta, you gotta ask yourself, is it worth giving up this, this resource, you know, this, um, this, this valuable resource and, and just putting it out there for free in order to, to get those numbers up there? What, what, what is the benefit of high, having a higher circulation number? Um, so Mark is, is giving me some insight on this. We sell ads based on the combination of print and PDF versions, and we share that through our social media networks. Um, so you're selling the, okay, right. You're selling print ads uh, based on the total reach of the website and the social media. So you're counting all this together. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, you know, I think you just got to ask yourself, like, is it really worth it to keep chasing these page views? I mean, this is something that we've been doing for decades, you know, hoping that the, the digital advertising is going to actually materialize and uh, the revenue is actually going to be there. It just hasn't happened. OK, and, and here's a, a hard reality that maybe you haven't faced yet. But Google and Facebook have won at advertising. OK, they've won. They're getting all the new advertising dollars. Uh, they're so effective at advertising that there's just, it's not even a competition anymore. They're a complete duopoly. They've won. We should look to paid reader revenue models because that's something that they're never gonna do.